guys, so today we are making this fantastic, extremely easy Captain Marvel cake from the hit movie the Black Panther. <laughs> the design of Shazam is actually pretty simple, so let's get started. My name is Tina Turner, and guess what? Ya simple the man. This is my outfit now for every video. <laughs> I've decided that. This is what I usually wear on a daily basis. I have five of the same jean jacket. And I've got like 800 white shirts, as you can see from all of my YouTube videos. So I've seen these cakes all over Instagram and Pinterest, but usually it's like the torso of a guy and he's like shirtless. But I decided that I wanted to do it with a superhero, so I decided to do Shazam. Now for this cake, I am using a shirt cake. Let me go get it. I bought this on Amazon. It is a cool shape. But also it leaks oil from the back or the bottom. So if you buy it, you have to like put it on a pan so that the oil doesn't leak out and drip onto your oven. Otherwise there's just smoke everywhere for days. You can use a different cake pan, but I thought there would be less cake scraps if I use this. So I baked my cake and because this is a really large cake, I cut it into four equal slices. Each slice is probably about like Half an inch thick, yeah. I just kept going and going and going all over the cake. Once I cut all of my layers, I took my torso stencil, placed it on top, and then cut it out using a serrated knife. I made this. Now you can definitely recreate this cake because the shape is so like, it's so simple. So if you want this printout or the printout I use, I'll link it in the description box for you. Cutting out this shape looks so not fun. And it wasn't. <laughs> I removed the top layer of cake. And then a second from the top layer, I'm actually going to use that to create the chest. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of cake. And then there's gonna be like this tiny chest cake layer just to make sure that his pecs are like pushed out and he looks like super buff. I never thought that he would be buff because he wasn't that buff on Chuck, but now he's like stacked. Now in between each layer of cake, I am adding buttercream. Um, I'm actually adding a white chocolate cream cheese buttercream. How can you tell? You can't. Just gotta take my word. It's vanilla. <laughs> so buttercream, then my next layer of cake, then buttercream. And then guess what? My next layer of cake. Now after I put on my last layer before the chest, I started to round out the edges of my cake and start to create the body of Shazam. This was kind of hard. I actually used a toy as a template because I needed to make sure that the abs were portioned just right and that I got all the muscles in the neck, you know, like these muscles. Well, I gotta flex first. Or else I don't, you can't see it. Like this, right there, that. And the Adam's apple I tried to get as well. And he's really cut, so I made sure that his biceps were big. And there was that V at the bottom of his torso. I really tried to like chisel someone like as chiseled as David the statue by Michelangelo. There's no dad bod on superheroes. <laughs> Ben Affleck as Batman. <laughs> now I added more buttercream to his chest and then I placed on that large chest cake piece. I'm just going to smoothen out the top and the bottom of this so it's not as rigid. Yo, this guy CrossFit all day, right? I'm gonna give my entire cake a crumb coat of buttercream. You can add a second coat of buttercream, but I'm cheap. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think icing is necessary at all. <laughs> Just give me a muffin. Give me a blueberry muffin with cream cheese. After that, I placed my cake into the fridge and while it was chilling, I was watching On The Block, a Netflix series. I'm watching it again just because <laughs> <laughs> the second season is coming out very soon and I'm excited. I really love the characters. I think it's set somewhere in East LA. I don't know for sure, but they go to Brentwood and I know where that is. I really wish my life in high school was that exciting. My life wasn't 
Usually I just come home from school and then I sit down on the couch and I just watch Simpsons at 7 while I ate Cheetos. <laughs> And then I'd fall asleep, wake up for dinner. No getting shot. Nobody shot me at my quinceanera. Nobody ever did that. <laughs> Although I really did want to have a quinceanera. But no, my mom said, no, that's not for you. Don't tell me what to do, but she always told me what to do because she's my mom. Now let's get back to the cake. Now before I took my cake out of the fridge, I started to work on all of the major fondant pieces for Shazam, which is just that chess piece. So I took some mustard gold well, it's gonna be gold eventually. Mustard brown fondant, mustard yellow. Which one is it? I don't know. I just started to cut out the Shazam shape. So he's got gold on the outside and it highlights the Shazam logo, which I'm cutting out with yellow. I'm just using an X-Acto knife and just being very, very careful because I want to make sure that I get this shape just right. I'm going to layer the mustard, gold, brown, ugly color. What color is this? On top of each other and then on top of that, I'm just going to add on the Shazam symbol. And everything's just getting held together with some magic sauce. And I took my cake out of the fridge and the first thing I did was add on some Shazam skin tone fondant. Billy Batson color. Just placed it onto the top so I can create his neck and his shoulders. I'm just going to use some fondant tools to make sure that I highlight all of the details that I carved, like his, this, hold on, let me flex, this part, and the Adam's apple, and also this, let me flex again, oh, you can't see it, I don't have it, <laughs> the shoulder blades. Then I covered the entire cake with some red fondant, and I textured this part of the fondant. With this, which is the same texture that I used for the snake. And I used my hands and my fingers to make sure that I got all of the chest detail and his abs and the V at the bottom. Just cut away the excess by pushing it underneath the rest of the cake. Now I'm going to add some folds of fondant at the top to create his white cape. Then I place on the Shazam symbol. As well as two, like, I think they're lion medallions. I made them out of fondant as well. Now I'm gonna add white folded pieces of fondant onto the sides to create the rest of Shazam's cape. And then I started to paint. First I started to paint the medallions gold. And then I just worked my way all the way around the Shazam symbol. Now I wanted to make sure that the Shazam logo was kind of sparkly. So I'm painting that with some gold luster dust as well. And voila, my Shazam cake was complete. If I were to do this again, I would probably do it without the neck so it was just like the Shazam costume. But it really does look like I decapitated him. Cut off his limbs, cut off his head, but that's okay because it's a cool looking cake. I'm excited to see this movie. I tried to get tickets to the preview show, but they were all sold out before I could get to them. I heard that the kid actors in this movie are what make it gold. Billy Batson looks cool, but also the kid from It looks like he's gonna be really funny. I'm curious, are you excited to see Shazam? And I heard that the trailer is hiding so much of the actual movie. Let me know in the comments below and let me know which other superhero you'd like to see me turn into a torso cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!